14. Thank you, sir. Vote number 15. Thank you, sir. Vote number 16. Thank you, sir. Vote number 17. Thank you, sir. And vote number 18. Thank you, sir. Where was that wind when I needed you to push me back a minute ago? <laughs> well, when you do, they're decent fish. Yeah, they're decent fish. I got one tied up just in case. It's like a translucent. I added a little bit of sartrice to it. Roughed it up a little bit. Maybe get some bites on it. I like doing it whenever I'm targeting fish out in the open. Cover water. Especially as a, uh, you know, as a co-angler in the back. It's not like you're necessarily targeting anything. I don't know if it's keeper, but uh, he's a fish. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna keep, but. Twelve inches. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> I don't know. Twelve. Yeah. Don't he's gonna be close. Don't need eleven, seven, eight. He's gonna. Oh, he's cold. <laughs> I know. I don't know, man. You think he's twelve? I want to keep these fish. This is probably one of the smallest fish I've caught all week. Probably 12. He is. He's almost 13. Okay. Yeah. 
He's a uh, 12 and 3 quarters. Right. He's keeper. We ain't skunk. You know what? We got it on our hands. Side, yeah, no, I'm grabbing my cold clips. Yeah. Don't worry. I won't steal your fish. Not yet. Depends how you treat me later in the day. Oh, that's fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do this with mine. I'm going to take these and just flip them up. It's easier for me to grab them next time. Well, we didn't zero today. I bet if this week is a warm week, I bet by next weekend them fish are spawning. We might be a week too early. Sight fishing could be fun, but at the same time, it could be very frustrating. Especially when you see the big girls and you can't get them to bite for nothing. Well, I think I just want to go ahead and catch my lemon here, make it even. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, there he is. I got a good hook set on that one, too. That's a male, small male. It's another 12 incher. You good? Yeah, I'm good. I'm looking at the fish and not where my feet are. There you go. Oh, man. Huh? It's a keeper. Like I said, these are the smallest <laughs> ones I've been catching all week. But it's a keeper, man. It's frustrating. I'm mean, afraid to call fish, but it's frustrating to catch these little bitty dingling. Yeah, he's small. He's he's 13 inches though. Yeah, he's a, I'll say he's a keeper. He's a keeper. Sure. Well, at least we're not gonna zero either of us. <laughs> but we might come in with some little bitty ones. You gotta start somewhere. You do gotta start somewhere. I mean I can go fishing in your live well though, you know. You got that one big one in there. I mean it's not super big. Where he should have been too, right on the wood, you know. Yeah. Thing is, he, I didn't feel him hit it. I just felt it get heavy. That's the way. That's the way the bites on these. Uh, what I'm catching, you just feel it get. I heavy. got him. All right. Oh, that's a good one too. Nice fish. That's the same fish. I'm thinking he is too. Drop shot now. Good job. Jump, jump right into the net. That well, that makes that. me feel better. That's a little better there now. A uh, two pounder, maybe? Yeah. No. He's just pretty shot close. Maybe. Decent fish. It's picking up a little. It's picking up. That's the most important thing. Guess what? It's in the afternoon, like we said. Yeah. And I didn't get that on my camera. It's picking up. That's number three.
get any bite. I'm surprised he didn't get a uh, catch a fish on that jerk bait this morning. I was throwing it at him. They didn't want anything to do with it. Yeah. The other day I was just randomly throwing it and I was catching bass on it. So I don't know. I don't think he's any bigger though. Uh, there's a keeper. I already got two small ones though. Oh, you do? Yeah. yeah. Well, he might not be 14. Catching three pounders all day, aren't Catching fish out here in the middle with the spin bait. Now you doing that today? See, I wasn't throwing in the middle. I was throwing all around the wood. Well, I was doing both. That's crazy. See, look at that. Oh, that's a good one, dude. Look at that, dude. That hey, fishes. look at that shit. What? I caught the same fish. <laughs> yeah. How about that? How about that? You see that shit? Ain't no question about that, is it? You see, still got the hook on it. That's the question. Oh, he does. He he has the he has that whole hook in his mouth, dude. Head in his gullet. Oh, and I can pull it out without injuring him. I got these little threads. They don't make him bleed. Oh, he ain't gonna bleed. It's, it's barely caught back there. 
I had to do this the other day on a big fish. I hate to do it. Like he is. He's alive. Guess what? Got it, no blood. Well, almost got five fish. What's the odds of that same fish biting? Remember I told you he felt like he had some weight on him? I've done that before. Oh, dude, he got me good. Because I know I, when I've done that, I, I had a fish with a worm, and then I, I got re-tagged and put on and caught the same fish with the worm in there. I have done that. That's crazy. I had some extra water in there, but then I'm about to have to super glue my hand. Yeah. Yeah, who you the fish? It was the fish, his fin. His fin's damaged in the back. He, he's fully alive. Oh, man. Dude, that hurt. Yeah, I can Ugh. imagine. Burning. Hey, I got my bait back, dude. What's the odds of that? Remember how you said, how quick will they eat? Pretty darn quick. Have you done that before? I have done that before. <laughs> crazy. I've done it before several times. I'll tell you something I did two weeks ago that I've never done before. What? I caught it. What was that? Oh, it's a big one. Is it a catfish? I thought you were joking. Oh, I was joking. I don't joke about catfish. Shit. Yeah. I used to catch these all the time as a kid. Luckily. Luckily, I know how to handle them. You would have told me we would only caught a... Uh, I would have less than 10 pounds between the both of them. Uh, I would have put a loss of bet on that. Yep. I, I thought for sure I had enough. The pattern that I was running, the quality of fish, at least 10 to 12 pounds at a minimum. One kicker fish in there, maybe 14. Two kicker fish, possibly 16, 18. Well, I thought I would have a good, I was estimating that if I did like I was supposed to, I should have had 10 pounds. Mm. And I got what, five, four? Yeah. I know. Shit. Half of what I thought. Trust me, I got half of what? I got a quarter of what I thought. If he says I got six pounds, I'd be surprised. Fluid in them, I 
you got some giants in there, man. Look at that giant. Oh, you got, uh, you got that. I didn't realize you had the ball hooks. Yeah. Here's what'll come out. Minor uh, clip on it. Come back and get him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's water in my shoe. Huh? Yeah. So the water's water in my shoe. Yeah. That's how my day was, guys. That's how my day was. You're not giant, but you got four of them. Oh, I didn't realize how small these were. They're teeny tiny, dude. Ready? Huh? <laughs> well, guys, Curly Lake in a nutshell. We went into this tournament with two days of practice. What I wanted to do is I wanted to cover as much water in practice, knock, uh, put down some waypoints, and um, you know, just see how we did. You know, mostly I fish rivers. Lakes is something that I'm trying to improve my uh, skill set on this year. And uh, I knew if I could focus on some more dirty water, which I'm comfortable with, and if I can get some bites in that dirty water, then um, I felt comfortable going into the tournament day um, that I possibly could get some fish. Maybe not necessarily to win it, but you know, be in the top 15, top 10, which have been great points for the season because this is only. Um, Four tournaments for the ABA Open Division 15, which is two Kerr uh, tournaments and two Gaston tournaments, and then the area championship, which is on the Potomac River, which I'm looking forward to. Um, I believe the Potomac is in September. So two days of practice. Uh, day one, I focus on um, um, mostly the backs of creek pockets. Most of my bites in practice came off of five to six feet of water where laydowns, there was lay down in the water with deeper water leading up to it and at the very end of those laydowns when I was flipping my very first hook set on my very first day of practice was a um, five pounder and uh, so what I started doing is I started working my way out of creek pockets flipping laydowns and almost every single laydown I came down to uh, or any type of cover whatsoever in the dirty water I was catching fish and I only set the hook three times, and my, my three fish on day one of practice weighed about nine and a half pounds. You'll see the photos at the end of the video of those uh, few fish that I caught in practice. And then the rest of the practice day on uh, practice day number one, um, I never set the hook on any more fish. And I ran probably 10 other uh, pockets. And I was getting bites on every single uh, piece of structure I was thrown to. And then I started pulling off into the middle of the uh, creeks. And I was fishing stumps at about you know 10 to 12 feet of water with a jerk bait and I was catching fish off those too and I comfortably on day one of practice coming out of it I could have easily weighed probably 14 pounds if I would have set the hook on all my fish and then I go into day two of practice the waters uh, continuing to slightly rise and um, I didn't want to set the hook on a lot of fish during practice day number two because I wanted to save all these fish for tournament day and uh, I ran the same pattern but a new you know um, in the back of new creek pockets and almost every single lay down and almost every single piece of cover that I came to I was flipping and I was getting uh, bites after bites I set the hook on uh, two fish during practice day number two and they average anywhere from two two and a half pounds you know so if I catch five two pounders on tournament day on a Saturday tournament I'd have ten you know ten pounds if I catch you know two and a half pounders five of those would weigh you know what uh, 12 12 and a half pounds and um, you know get one or two kicker fish easily be 14 15 16 pounds get two kicker fish um, would be sitting good possibly you know winning this tournament and so you know coming out of two days of practice I felt very comfortable going into tournament day and um, one thing that I'm not used to on these big bodies of water and lakes and uh, it's not so much an issue on these rivers because rivers you can kind of get away from it is uh, how powerful and how much the wind actually affects these uh, fish. Um, leading up to the tournament, we had a uh, warming trend, and then tournament day, we had a cooling trend with uh, 
20 mile an hour winds consistently throughout the day and we had 30 to 40 mile an hour gusts so i knew most of the tournament was going to take place in the back of these creek pockets and um it was just getting there before other people uh, hit the same cover or we we're going to be fishing behind each other which uh, most of the tournament that's what it ended up we were fishing behind uh behind one another um so anyway I, I go into the first couple creek pockets and i'm flipping the same cover that i started off in practice and um i had 60 waypoints from practice where i got zero bites and it was about 11 11 30 in the afternoon when i finally made a uh, solid move um, up midways in the lake. I'm not going to say the exact location because I'm going to be fishing it um, in my next uh, tournament. But I knew it had some deeper water. It had some cleaner water. Um, and some of my bigger fish came out of this location. So I moved up there. And um, that's immediately whenever I caught my third fish of the day, which was a two, two and a half pounder. And then um, I went to my next creek pocket and I caught my fourth keeper, which was another two two and a half pounder so between those two fish i had five pounds and then i had two smaller fish that i caught earlier in the day um you know on that shaky head finished the tournament with about six and a half pounds i was not happy with that at all um my bite moved and i didn't realize it too late in the day so that's one thing you have to learn about fishing is you know adjusting on the fly and it's something i did not um do quick enough was adjust on the fly those fish moved from five six feet of water we had a the, the lake rose a whole foot overnight and um it pushed those fish a lot shallower than i was expecting some of the cover that i was seeing in the back of these creek pockets that was not underwater was actually underwater and um those fish actually moved onto that stuff and i didn't catch it until towards the end of the day and that's where you know my two biggest fish uh, came so structure that was out of the water ended up being underwater and that's where i caught my two biggest fish oh well hey you live you learn and uh there's always the next tournament again next tournament is going to be on the 23rd of april Kerr Lake again i have a lot of waypoints that i can uh kind of start off with see what these fish are doing i do know generally where i want to base some of my practices and i know how to fish shallow um what i want to learn how to do is on Kerr Lake and see how i can get some of these fish offshore or in the middle of these creek pockets either throwing in a mickey rig um or a swim bait or something like that and uh you know drop shot is kind of my go-to if i can find some fish i usually get them to bite it but this, this tournament you know i caught one fish on a drop shot and it was actually after he uh struck a swim bait and he bit the tail so um anyway guys i appreciate you for uh tuning in my channel i hope you like these um uh recaps i'm gonna try to start including them at the end of my videos hey guys if you notice um i'm wearing my river bass tv cap uh this is with my new logo it is uh, black with uh, charcoal gray. And if you like it, you can buy your own. Just go uh, down in the video description and there's a link to the PayPal where you can purchase a hat. Um, right now I have two different colors coming in. I have this color and then I have the other one that you've seen in previous uh, videos where it's uh, gray with a black back or charcoal with a black back. Um, if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, I'll post the photos as soon as I have them in stock. But right now you can go ahead and reserve yours before they sell out and they'll sell out pretty quick because every one that I've ordered so far, people have been uh, grabbing them up. So go and reserve your uh, cap now. And then as soon as they get in, I'll ship them out to you. Um, I usually do a uh, two day priority shipping. So as soon as I get them in, I'll notify you and get it shipped out to you. Guys, again, I appreciate you for uh, tuning in. I'm gonna try not to get stuck on um, one specific technique. We're gonna cover water. We're going to try to figure out these fish in two days of practice and then we're going to go into tournament day and hopefully we don't have a dramatic uh you know weather system roll in like we did on this tournament so again guys thank you for tuning in